For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use these two glass jars. The empty jar is where the clean solvent is going to collect. Now this is some fairly dirty solvent right here, but what we could do is add some automotive drain oil to this. How about that? Is that oily enough for everyone? Now what I'll do is just stir that up a little bit and put the inlet line right in there. The only reason that I'm doing this without the filter is that I know that there isn't any grit in there. In a real-world application, we would never want to run without the filter. So now, the tank is empty. When I turn this on, it's going to suck this down pretty fast because it's going to be filling the distillation tank. There is no solvent in there at all. The only solvent that we are going to process is what you see here in the container, which means the only clean solvent that you see come out came from right here. And now we'll wait for the temperature to come up to where we can get effective, efficient distilling. You can see the distillation process starting. We're right around 250 degrees, and as it gets hotter, it's going to become much more efficient. But as you can see, we are now up to operating temperature, and it's running very, very efficiently. And I think you'll agree that we made it work pretty hard because that was some really oily solvent that we ran in there. But once it gets up to temperature, it processes pretty quickly. So, the question is, which would you prefer to use to clean your parts? I think the answer is pretty clear, isn't it? 